ChatGPT just introduced a bunch of new updates. The biggest one is a brand new ChatGPT model called GPT-40. And it's going to be available completely for free. So you no longer have to use the ChatGPT 3.5. Everyone is going to get ChatGPT 4.0. They also introduced a brand new app for the desktop that I'll cover in a different video. They also showed a real-time voice demo too. So you could actually talk to the ChatGPT app using this new GPT model in real time before it had a two, three second delay every time you talk to it waiting for the reply. Now it's a whole lot better. Okay, let me highlight the things that come with ChatGPT 4.0. This is going to be a big, big upgrade to free users. This is what you're going to get now if you're a free user of ChatGPT. The very first thing is you're going to get GPT-4 intelligence with this new model for free. So this is a huge upgrade for free users. And if you want to see how good GPT-4.0 is compared to the other models, they did release this benchmark on their blog here at the OpenAI website. And this compares GPT-4.0 to GPT-4 Turbo, the GPT initial release. So that's the original GPT, Claude 3 Opus, the best model from Claude and Gemini Pro 1.0 and Gemini Ultra, the best model from Google here. And even Llama 3 from Meta, the best, best model of Llama 3. These are all being tested, as you could see, sets a new high score of 87% on the five shot general knowledge question. So right here, this benchmark, it beat out every single model, including the paid version of ChatGPT. And in other tests here too, including this math test, it also completely outperforms everything else by a lot. You also get access to things we had inside of GPT-4, like vision capabilities where you could upload things and it could see what's inside of images and PDFs and things like that. You also get access to memory function that just came out inside of the paid version of ChatGPT. Now you have it in this model for free. So that is a huge upgrade and I have a different video showing you prompts to really take advantage of that memory option. So I'll link that in the description too. And you also get access for free to data analytics. So you could upload PDFs, Excel sheets, into ChatGPT to analyze them, something we only had in the paid version before. And you also get access to web browsing with the browsing function of Bing, again, something that we only had inside of the paid version. So pretty much everything that GPT-4 had, the paid version, has now rolled out to GPT-4.0 and available to people with the free version. And my favorite upgrade by far is now everyone is gonna get access to custom GPTs and the GPT store. So those are mini GPTs for a very specific use case. And I have a different video about building those that I'll link below as well. But now as builders, we have a much bigger market of ChatGPT users that we could build GPTs for. Before it was only available to paid users. So if you build a custom GPT, the person using it also had to have a paid account, which really limited it. So this is going to open up custom GPTs to a whole new audience, all users of ChatGPT. So that's going to be a huge, huge upgrade. Not yet available, though. It's rolling out starting today, but they're going to take some time to roll it out to all accounts. So I'll do a deep dive test once I have it. But it is available in the API starting today and is twice as fast at half the price of the current GPT-4 Turbo model. So if you're building something using GPT-4, this might be something worth a look. And this model has finally made real-time voice conversation with ChatGPT possible and they demoed it and it was a pretty interesting demo. It could also take advantage of vision. So they wrote things on a card and they showed ChatGPT and it responded in real time. It also could do that with video. So this was something that Google tried to show us with a demo, but that was edited. If you remember back with Google Gemini, they actually showed a demo like this, but it wasn't quite real time. This demo was in real time. What equation did I write down there? Ah, I see it now. You wrote down 3x plus 1 equals 4. Yep, Let's exactly. So what's the first step I should take to try to solve this? The first step is to get all the terms with x on one side and the constants on the other side. Okay, so this is what I wrote down. What do you see? Aw, uh, I see. I love ChatGPT. That's so sweet of you. Hey, ChatGPT, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. How about you? How's cool. your day going? I'm uh, doing great. So I would like you to function as a translator. I have a friend here who only speaks Italian, and I only speak English. 
And uh, every time you hear English, I want you to translate it to Italian. And if you hear Italian, I want you to translate it back to English. Is that good? Perfetto. <laughs> Mark, io mi chiedo se le balene potessero parlare, cosa ci direbbero? Mike, she wonders if whales could talk, what would they tell us? Um, they might ask, uh, how do we solve linear equations? Potrebbero chiederci, come risolviamo le equazioni lineari? <laughs> Sicuramente, sì. <laughs> Certainly, yes. <laughs> Great, it looks like it works. And it looks like the real-time voice conversations on the app is gonna only be available right now to paid users and it's rolling out in the next few weeks according to the tweet by Sam Altman. And for us paid users, the real big upgrade is that real-time voice that we're gonna get in the app, but not much else. So this is a massive upgrade, a new model for free users, not much on the upgrade side of GPT for paid users besides the real-time conversation. Now, if you have a free chat GPT account, I recommend learning about the things that we already had inside of the paid version, including the memory option that just came out. So I'll put a tutorial here that I recommend you watch next, and I'll update you with more releases on chat GPT, the desktop app, and the new real-time voice very soon. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.